This is by far my most expensive gun in my collection. If your wife or girlfriend is concerned with you spending tens of thousands of dollars on a gun, just let them know this could be your kid's college fund, okay? If you buy the right transferable machine gun, you could simply pay for your kid's college with it. How cool is that? And if that doesn't work, you could rob a bank. I'm Hunter Constantine, I am the host of your channel, and I'm here to tell you why you should save up for the investment of a transferable machine gun. Now, a transferable machine gun is something that was built pre-86, but it's the best investment because you gain value and you get to do things like this. <laughs> Who wants to buy any puts or options or stocks when you can buy a machine gun and let it rip and still make money. Transferable machine guns run the Forbes top 50 list of uh, non-financial items to buy as an investment. Let's talk about why they're worth so much money. So in 1986, the Hughes Amendment was passed, also known as I'm a little fed boy and I'm scared of civilians having machine guns amendment, which limited civilians from manufacturing and purchasing machine guns. If you have an FFL or an SOT class three license, you can manufacture your own machine guns, but for the average citizen, it's unobtainable outside of a transferable. Now, every transferable machine gun was built before 1986, and that's why they've amassed so much value. There's a finite number of them, so if something happens to one or even just finding one for sale, it's few and far between, and I bought this right before COVID. And since then I've had about like a 25 to 30% gain on value on this gun. And I've taken it out multiple times, countless smiles, so many rounds, and just pitted the shit out of some steel targets. I've even shot matches with this gun, which is pretty cool. There's a Cold War era spec match, and this was just so fitting for the division that I was shooting, and they allowed machine guns in the matches. So in good spirit, me and all my friends, we ended up shooting machine guns. Now on the lower end of transferables, you can find Mac 10s, Mac 11s, and they'll be anywhere in that 10 to $13,000 range. And if you think about it, if you're at home and you have, let's say a few staccatos, a couple customized Glocks, so on and so forth, if you have amassed a gun collection of these like Gucci guns, these newer guns, with, it's like the same gun, but with a different flavor. In my opinion, that's a waste of money, okay? We're gonna shoot 10 rounds at 10 yards out of 10 different guns on a B8 target. Now I'm guilty of it too, but I just started the collection of the transferables and I wanna keep building that year after year because these will continue to make money. Your Roland Special Glock 19 is still just a Glock 19 with a bunch of parts slapped onto it. I hate to say it, even the 2011s, I mean, unless you're getting something stupid crazy like uh, a Cabot gun made from Meteorite, even like my Sandhawk or the expensive 2011s, they're not necessarily gaining value. They might hold their value, but it's, it's very rare for a regular semi-automatic gun to be gaining the value that a transferable does. This is something that you'd keep in your family for a very long time or even just part cash in and be able to shoot a machine gun like, just silly. So the M16 variant is definitely more on the pricier side of things when it comes to transferables. It's one of the most popular platforms across the country. And I got this because I can slap any upper on this uh, in any caliber for an AR-15 and I'll be able to shoot it full auto. A2 stock is okay. I'd probably swap it out for a six position buffer tube. I am on an FFL and SOT. So we have access to other machine guns. So I've been leaving this in its factory configuration. And again, taking out for new friends and family to shoot and experience what it's like to have a full auto gun. Think about the versatility behind it. The Mac 11s, the Mac 10, they're great with the Lage uppers. I think there's 15 different calibers you can shoot just off of that Mac 11 receiver. But again, this is just classy, takes you back to Vietnam, the Hueys shooting in the I don't know if we can say that. More importantly, this gun's meant to be shot. So let's do just that. I don't know if we should put that one in there. 
And these are considered NFA items, so you'll need to get a tax stamp and wait the same process for it. But boy, are they fun, and there's no other place I'd wanna park my money. There'll be some other machine guns on the channel later on. We've got some from the SOT that you'll see, but there's just something special about having original factory Colt machine gun. Like, comment, subscribe down below. Let me know what you think of transferable machine guns if you wanna see more machine gun content or anything you'd like to tell me personally about China. I'm Hunter Constantine, thanks for tuning in.